a good day and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. Now I've only got one question for you and that is do you want to see some diamonds? Would you like to see some Royal Replica jewellery? Would you like to see a tiara? You might be interested in my tiara. Well I will not disappoint because today I am bringing you my Royal Replica Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. I always carry it with me, afraid to leave it in the state room. I just love diamonds, don't you? Look, did you ever? So now a closer look at the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. I mean you can see uh, the level of detail that has gone into this and although not an exact replica, it is incredibly close and I will show you some comparison photos at the end of this video. It's made by the same people that made the replica Queen Victoria Diamond and Sapphire Tiara which I showed you in an earlier video. It has the same eye hooks and I wore that one without any ribbon or elastic. Now I would recommend elastic. I've used a ribbon which was actually blue and I've actually gone over with a marker pen in black so I do need to replace this with some black elastic which I think would be really really good. Now the reverse of this tiara, um, it's actually really really smooth, there's no kind of rough edges. If I just move the ribbon hopefully we can get a closer look. If I move in a bit closer and wait for it to become clear. So you can see it's a really quality item for not actually that much money. Um, and I will put the link as to where you can buy this in the description. Perhaps we should all buy a tiara ready for the royal wedding. Of course, that's Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's. Some of the central stones are actually quite large. I mean, if they were real diamonds, they would be very, very expensive. Now, this tiara is said to be Queen Elizabeth's favourite tiara because it is fairly lightweight. And of course, um, as people who have worn real tiaras may know, they can give you a headache after a while. This was given to the present Queen's grandmother, Queen Mary, by, and you'll never guess who, <laughs> the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland. And there was a committee of them, chaired by a Lady Eve Greville. And that's not the same Greville as the Greville Inheritance. The committee raised over £5,000 and purchased this tiara from Garrard before donating the remainder of the funds to charity at the request of the princess. And of course, Queen Mary was then a princess. The tiara is a diamond design of festoons and scrolls set on a bandeau base. The base consists of round and lozenge shaped diamonds. It was originally topped with nine large pearl finials, which would have gone on these end spikes here. And it could also originally be worn as a necklace, but Queen Mary never left her jewels alone. And so the original version did not stay put for long. In 1914, she removed the pearl finials. They went on the new Cambridge Lovers Knot tiara and replaced them with simpler diamond collets taken from the dismantled Surrey tiara. She also removed the base of the tiara and used it as a separate bandeau. So obviously um, these are where the pearls would have been. And of course, these are the diamonds, the collet diamonds, which replaced them. A little bit more about the history. In 1947, Queen Mary gave the tiara to her granddaughter, then Princess Elizabeth, as a wedding present, who is said to affectionately call it Granny's Tiara. Okay, so there seems to be some mystery surrounding the separation of the bandeau base and the tiara itself. Queen Elizabeth has previously indicated that she did not know the tiara had a base until after Queen Mary's death in 1953. However, the bandeau can be seen displayed separately in the public viewing of the couple's wedding gifts at St James's Palace. Perhaps she just meant that she didn't know they were intended to go together. However, at some point, the bandeau base was reattached and has remained this way ever since. Okay, so you've just seen the tiara and I'm just going to show it you again. Anywhere, anything like it. And you can see the amazing detail and also how sparkly it is. In fact, if I hold it up, maybe against my jacket, maybe you could see better. But it is amazing detail and I do just absolutely love the tiara. It is magnificent. Yeah, just hold it for a minute. So without further ado, I am going to try it on. And it goes really, really nicely, by the way, with this replica Queen Elizabeth star brooch. It's the brooch that she wears a lot. 
Okay, so again we see the ribbon which I have put on, just to hold it securely in place, and let's put it on. Like so. It's a tiara. <laughs> wow. Do you know, it always feels really amazing when you put this on. Um, okay, wow, look. What do you guys think? Now, what I would like to do is to actually upgrade this to some elastic. Some black elastic would be really, really good because then it would feel really, really tight on the head. The ribbon is a little bit loose, so I'm not going to move my head around too much. I do not want any accidents, but look. Okay, so this is what it looks like. If I bend down slightly, you can see the tiara in all its detail, and it even goes with my hair. I have done my hair a little bit uh, flapped just for this occasion. Um, but it does fit really, really well. Now, let's see if I can wear it in a different way. I just love finding new places to wear diamonds. You be able to wear it, kind of like a necklace. How do you put it around your neck? And it kind of makes, if you had the right attachment and you attached it round properly, it would kind of make quite a nice collar. You don't love it, it goes on your head. Now, of course, it would be very stiff. But if you had the right outfit with the right neckline, you could actually wear this to decorate your neck or your, your chest area up towards your neck, depending upon the neckline of whatever it is you're wearing. But that could actually work kind of a little bit like a choker. What do you think? And from the back, if I step back a little bit, give a little bit of a twirl. Can you see how well it goes with the, the spikiness of this? It's, well, it's called the star brooch, but it's kind of like, could be almost like a snowflake too, which is quite apt because we have lots of snow in the UK at the moment. But it does go really, really well. I do absolutely love it. Now, it feels quite secure on the head, although, like I said, I wouldn't go flinging my head around. What I can do is also make that bit longer so, so that the tiara can sit a little bit lower on the forehead. Kind of like that. So if you have got big hair, I mean particularly on ladies if you do have quite big hair, that would look quite nice towards the front of the hairline with hair coming out over the top and down the sides, it would look quite nice. It also looks amazing if your hair is up with an elegant chignon uh, because it would sit quite nicely on the top like it is doing now on my hair. Your head. Okay, so if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, in the comment section below, please let me know what you would like to see from this channel in my video. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye. Tiffany. forget that diamonds are your best friend. Diamonds. Diamonds. I don't mean rhinestones, but diamonds are a guy's best friend. Best friend.